All right, gonna make a terrain of uh, pork trotters. First thing I'm gonna do, well, no, I got some pork trotters here that I bought in the Vietnamese market. See how they're all cut up in small pieces? Now these I bought in an American style market. Now these are already split in half. What I'm gonna have to do is go through, make sure there's no hair on them. So this little piggy's gonna get a shave. Can you see that? Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna make sure there's no hair on the on the trotters. I'm gonna put them in a pot of water and let them soak. And then uh, tomorrow night I'll come back and we'll start to cook them. So I'll see you tomorrow night. All right. Now we've taken the the pig feet, soaked them overnight, rinsed them off, put them in a pot of water, and as you can see, some blood is still trying to come out of them. But anyway, that's that's okay. Because we're gonna boil these things. We're gonna turn the heat on. And then we're going to boil them for about 20 minutes or so just to get that last little bit of blood out of them. Alright, now what we're going to do, got my pig's feet, boil them for a little bit, we're going to wash them off, we're going to put them back in the pot. Alright, got my feet back in the pot, I'm going to put in some sea salt, not too much. About three, four tablespoons. Put some water in. Take a whole small onion. Nice big piece of ginger. I got some garlic. A lot of little pieces left from whenever I was peeling the garlic clove. Got some big hunks. I'm not going to bother to peel these. Don't need to do that. We'll strain this liquid before we use it. All right, my pig feet have been boiling the second time now for about an hour and a half. Uh, depending on how long you do the first boil determines how long to do the second boil. Now I got to run out, so I'm going to leave these off. But later I'll cook the broth down some more. Anyway, let's take take these things out. I need them to start to cool off. I need to start getting the meat off the bones. All right, my pig feet have cooled down, and what I'm doing now is I'm pulling them apart. I want the gelatin and everything to be able to come out of them really good. Just pulling them apart, putting everything back in the pot. Now, the little pieces of meat that I find, I am saving that, but there's not a whole lot of meat here. So what I'm gonna have to do is get some pork, and we'll boil some pork. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. All right. So, my pig feet aren't, they don't really have any meat on them. So I'm gonna take pork picnic, and I'm gonna cut some meat off of it, and then I'll go through the thing of soaking it, boiling it, and that'll give me my meat that I'm looking for. All right, I think this stock is done. See how milky that is? Now what we'll do, we'll let this cool down, and then we'll strain it. Let's strain out some of our uh, pig foot stock. Anyway, got a strainer, got some cheesecloth, a couple layers of this. So this is about four layers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my meat into real small pieces and I'm going to put it into here. Now I've wrapped this with plastic wrap so hopefully everything will come out real easy whenever I get done. Now to cut the meat, I'm going to go across, start off going across the grain, nice thin slices. See that's nice and tender. And we're going to cut it up into smaller pieces. Cut 
put it in the terrine. We'll just keep going. Alright, got all the pork in my container. I'll put a little black pepper on there. Now, I'm going to take my, fig, my pig foot broth. I'm going to put this in here. Now, this has got a lot of gelatin in it. So when we put it in the refrigerator, it'll make a, like a gel, like a like a pork jello. Now, if I'd have made this using the head of the pig, we could call it pig cheese or head cheese. So right now, we'll just call it terrain to be fancy. A little bit more. Make sure we get the air bubbles out. Now we'll put that in the fridge for a few hours. All right, our train's been in the fridge overnight. It's set up real good. Now, see if I can get it out of here without tearing it up. All right, now I have a cold plate here. Just put that there for the moment. See how you can see all that meat and get all the gelatin in between? Anyway, let's see what we got. Mmm. That's good. There we go. A Tarina port.